Chapter 15 of The Tale of Betsy Butterfly. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Tale of Betsy Butterfly by Arthur Scott Bailey. Chapter 15 Joseph Bumble's Complaint. It happened just as Chirpy Cricket had expected. Betsy Butterfly arrived at the party with her admirer, Joseph Bumble buzzing close behind her. Although he had not been invited, he did not feel the least bit shy about coming. Being of the royal family, I never wait to be asked to a place, he had explained loftily to Betsy, and you'll see that everybody will be glad to see me at the party. People always consider it an honour to have me at their entertainments. Joseph's words proved partly true. Anyhow, anyone could see that Joseph Bumble was more than welcome. Chirpy Cricket and Daddy Longlegs, as well good many others, rushed up to him and told him how pleased they were to see him. And Joseph Bumble was having a very agreeable time talking in a loud voice about himself and his family when he suddenly stopped short. A look of displeasure crossed his face and Daddy Longlegs asked him if he had eaten something that disagreed with him. No, replied Joseph Bumble. I've been interrupted, and it's hardly the sort of treatment a person of royal blood like myself expects to receive at a party. Who interrupted you? Chirpy Cricket inquired. I don't know, Joseph Bumble answered, but someone was talking in a loud voice. Are you sure it wasn't yourself that you heard? Daddy Longlegs wanted to know. Certainly not, cried Joseph. Don't be silly. Don't you suppose I know my own voice when I hear it? Perhaps it was your echo that you heard, Daddy ventured. At that, Joseph Bumble rudely turned his back on him and began whispering to Chirpy Cricket. He was actually suggesting that Daddy Longlegs should be thrown out of the party. And then Mr. Bumble again paused abruptly and listened. There, he said to Chirpy Cricket, Don't you hear that buzzing? That's the person that interrupted me, and I'd like to have him put out of the party too, along with this queer old chap who insulted me a moment ago. Chirpy Cricket looked around until his eye rested on Buster Bumblebee, who had just arrived, and who was at that moment talking with Betsy Butterfly. There's the young man you hear, Chirpy told Joseph Bumble. Don't you know him? No, replied Joseph, as his eyes followed Chirpy Crickets. And I don't want to know him either. He looks to me to be a very ordinary person, and anybody can see that he's annoying Betsy Butterfly. I told you I want him chased away from here at once, for I'm of royal blood, and I'm not accustomed to go to parties with ragtags and bobtails. I'm a cousin of Buster Bumblebee, the Queen's cousin. Well, Chirpy Cricket tried hard not to laugh right in Joseph Bumblebee's face. I'll see what I can do. Chirpy promised him, and I will admit that somebody ought to be barred out of this party. Good, exclaimed Joseph Bumble. I'm glad to know that you're so sensible. Perhaps he would have spoken in a different fashion had he known exactly what Chirpy Cricket had in mind. But now he said nothing more, though he continued to stare angrily at Buster Bumblebee who was glad to see Betsy Butterfly, and was telling her as much too. End of chapter 15